Today, we honor a great Michigan man, not just a University of Michigan man, but an individual who gave so much to the state he grew up in and dearly loved. William Davidson had a long-standing relationship with the University of Michigan. He earned his bachelor's degree in business administration in 1947 and was a member of the track and field program. His roommate at the university was Merv Pregelman, an All-American football player for the Wolverines and a member of the College Football Hall of Fame. It was a great experience because, first of all, being his roommate and getting to know him so well, and secondly, to meet all of his friends that came from Detroit that were at the university. It sort of broadened my horizons and gave me an insight that I really didn't have before. He was so unusual. In fact, you might even say a little unpredictable. In my opinion, Bill Davidson was a genius. Um, I don't know how you'd compare him to others, but he had an insight, he had an intelligence, he had the courage, so that you could expect big things from Bill. And of course, we weren't disappointed. Bill loved the University of Michigan and generously gave to the institution. He established the William Davidson Institute that is affiliated with the business school. He served the university on the president's advisory group, the Michigan Difference National Campaign Cabinet, and the business school visiting committee. Bill's experience at Michigan not only gave him the drive to be the best in the business world, it shaped him as a person and cultivated his desire to become involved in sports. He acquired the Detroit Pistons in 1974 while also running the family business Guardian Industries. Bill ran the Pistons until his passing in March 2009, building the organization into the model NBA franchise. He became the first owner in sports history to win championships in three different professional leagues, the NBA, the WNBA, and the NHL, all in one season. In 2003-04, the Pistons claimed their third NBA championship. The Tampa Bay Lightning won its first Stanley Cup, and the Detroit Shock won its first WNBA championship. To have William Davidson's name on this Player Development Center is going to mean a lot for us because of who he is, a former student athlete, a graduate of the university, and someone who's an iconic figure in the game of basketball. He loved the game. He loved the guys who played the game and he was supportive of basketball in every way. And the fact that our recruits and our players and our coaches will enter a building virtually every day that has his name atop the door is, is a really remarkable and wonderful thing and we will be eternally indebted to the Davidson Foundation for their generosity. The William Davidson Foundation's generous gift of seven and a half million to athletics for the William Davidson Player Development Center establishes a legacy that will live on forever. Hey fans, please direct your attention to midcourt, where we are joined today by members of the William Davidson Foundation, including Bill's widow Karen and son Ethan and daughter Marla. Please welcome the following members of the board. Ethan Davidson, Karen Davidson, Eli Salson, Ralph Gerson, John Aaron, Mary Aaron and Oscar Feldman. And we'd also like to recognize two key members of the Pistons organization, Detroit Mayor Dave Bing and Mike Abdenauer. And now speaking on behalf of the William Davidson Foundation are Karen Davidson, John Aaron, and Ethan Davidson. Mary Sue and, Ken and Dave, thank you for the opportunity of this foundation to put Bill's name on a building that he would have gotten such joy from. And as his widow, I am doubly appreciative of the fact that we have equal facilities for the women, as Bill was an owner of both the women's championship team and the men's championship team in the National League. And again, it's our pleasure. Thank you. To the Regents and President Coleman, Athletic Director Brandon, to the coaches and students and fans of the University of Michigan, on behalf of the entire board of the William Davidson Foundation, 
Thank you. Thank you for allowing us to share Bill Davidson's life, his legacy, and his name with this university. Our intent in making this gift was to assist students who will access the William Davidson Player Development Center in achieving their goals of becoming the leaders and best, both on the court and after they've graduated. When you look at some of the names of the facilities surrounding us, names like Chrysler and Yoast and Ustaban and Schembachler, it is truly an honor to add Bill Davidson's name. Now to quote from Bo, Bill Davidson was truly a Michigan man. Thank you and go blue. Thanks. I just uh, wanted to say that, you know, part of my dad's philosophy was really that you don't let yourself get paralyzed by overanalyzing any situation. You collect the information you need and you make your strongest move. My dad originally came here as a football player that didn't work out so well for him. And then later on when he wanted to get into the uh, business of sports team ownership, he went down to Tampa Bay to get in on what eventually became the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. This is an untold story. At the uh, 11th hour, it didn't work out for him. His deal with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers fell through. And uh, he and, of course, Oscar Feldman here happened to run into Fred Zollner, the owner of the Pistons on the beach. And he said, well, I'm sorry the football team's not going to work out. I got a basketball team in Detroit uh, that I'd like to sell for you. And uh, so that's the thing. You don't spend too much time worrying about what could have been. You go forward. And he bought the team in 74. Mike Abdenauer and Dave Bing are here. They've been part of our family ever since. Thank them for being here. Thank the University of Michigan. Thank all the fans and the sports program here, the best college sports program in North America. Thank you very much. On this day, Saturday, February 26, 2012, the University of Michigan, the Board of Regents, President Mary Sue Coleman, Donald R. Shepard, Director of Athletics Dave Brandon, and the William Davidson Foundation officially dedicate the William Davidson Player Development Center benefiting men's and women's basketball. Thank you to the William Davidson Foundation for their investment in our student athletes and Michigan athletics.